Pardubica lies in the center of East Bohemia on the confluence of the River Elbe and the River Krudimka. The oldest preserved written reference to its existence dates back to the end of the 13th century, with Pardubica becoming a town sometime around 1340. Back then it was owned by the lords of Pardubica, the most prominent figure of the line being Arnost of Pardubica, the first Archbishop of Prague, advisor and friends to Emperor Charles IV, a distinguished European personality of that time. It was some 200 years later that the expression shine like Pardubica became common in Bohemia, an expression that was certainly not over the top. Of course the best way to convince yourself to this day is to take a stroll through the historic part of the city, whose chateau, surrounding area and square ringed by picturesque streets make it somewhat unique in the world. There are few such examples of the skills and abilities of our ancestors still in existence. The development of Pardubica from the Middle Ages onwards can be attributed to the lords of Prince Velen, who bought the town and surrounding domain at the end of the 15th century converted the water castle of that time into a late Gothic residence and his sons Wojciech and Jan continued the reconstruction work, this time in the spirit of Renaissance architecture. Today the chateau grounds in Pardubica and their fortifications are among only a few examples of the conversion from castle to chateau to have been preserved to this day. Willem of Prinsengen also decided on the layout and the uniform style of the town, something that has been preserved to this day. The historic square in Pardubica is home to late Gothic and Renaissance buildings that are organically complemented by structures from later years. The prominence and renown of Pardubica began to wane after the Pardubica the main passed from the hands of the Prinstigen family into the assets of the royal chamber in 1560, although the town did occasionally welcome monarchs and was a prominent stronghold until the 18th century. On the other side of the coin, it was often afflicted by wars and disease, whilst strict guild regulations curtailed the development of enterprise. However, the mighty stronghold eventually succumbed to the gradual development of the town that accompanied the arrival of the railway. Indeed the man mainly responsible for planning this railway was a citizen of Pardubitz named Jan Pruner. The original tracks from Pardubica to Olomouc or to Prague soon began to spread in other directions after 1845 and preordained the position of Pardubica as a significant transport junction. The town's ideal position in the very heart of Bohemia played a crucial role here. Industry began to develop in Pardubica soon after the arrival of the railway. There were prominent enterprises such as the Fondo factories, Fantavi Zavidi, now the Paramo refinery, or Prokop and Sons. <laughs>